Hi friends, how are you guys? I hope you are enjoying mathematics. Now, continuing with our problem solving sessions. This is another session in which we are going to discuss these two questions. So, it's given that x and y are positive real numbers. Then you have to simplify under root x to the power minus 4, y to the power 5. This is 1. And the second one is this. Looks too intimidating, isn't it? But don't worry, you'll be able to solve it using the laws of exponent so how to solve both of them let's start with the first one the first one says x to the power minus 4 and y to the power 5 now i know most of you uh, get frightened or intimidated by seeing the variables but don't worry you know working with variables is much easier than numbers because relatively calculations are lesser okay so hence how do I go about it? So I'll use the laws of exponents. So under root anything is nothing but x to the power minus 4, y to the power 5, and this whole to the power half, isn't it? Which law did I use? Nth root of anything is equal to a to the power 1 by n. Now, why a has been given as positive is we really don't want to take chances where we have to find out that I say square root of a negative number. So hence, to uh, avoid such situations it is already given that x and y are positive so no problems with negative uh, square uh, you know uh, let's say square rooting that number okay now what is the next step next step is this can be written as x to the power minus 4 half times y to the power 5 to the power half which rule am i using a b whole to the power m is nothing but a to the power m times b to the power m now again mind you this is not a decimal this is a product okay so hence here what is next step x next step is x to the power minus 4 into 1 by 2 into y to the power 5 into 1 by 2 so what rule again so a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n okay so please i'm writing these rules again and again such that it gets uh, reinforced and you know uh, it, it gets permanently set in your mind now x to the power minus 4 into half no brainer it is x to the power minus 2 and it is simply y to the power 5 by 2 isn't it so hence i can now write it as y to the power 5 by 2 divided by x squared why because a to the power minus n is equal to 8, 1, sorry, not a, 1 upon a to the power n. So these are the rules which we used. And now you see you cannot really reduce it further. Okay, so hence this should be the final answer. Now let's take the next question. So here is the next question, guys. So looks a little intimidating. It's complex looking question, but trust me. While you do three fourth of such types, and you'll be very very comfortable solving all these questions. Now, let us see how to let us see how to uh, solve this. So, hence the uh, the step is nothing very very simple. You take each term separately and simplify to the maximum possible extent. Now, let us say first term root x, right? So, hence I can write this as x to the power minus two by three whole to the power half right next y to the power 4 by 2 and then this divide by x y to the power minus half whole to the power half isn't it this is what it is right now okay so next is again this will be nothing but x to the power minus 2 by 3 into 1 by 2 and the rule i'm writing here a to the power m to the power n is equal to a to the power mn isn't it now this is nothing but y to the power 2 simple arithmetic and then divided by divided by x to the power half and y to the power minus half to the power half okay now let's again keep simplifying so it is x to the power minus 1 by 3 why this 2 and this 2 will go times y square divided by x to the power 1 by 2 and then it is y to the power minus 1 by 4 isn't it why would that be because a to the power m again same formula a to the power m is to the power n is a to the power mn now let us 
simplify further so this will be y square divided by x to the power 1 by 3 and if you see this is nothing but uh, into 1 upon so since it's a division so it is x to the power 1 by 2 and y to the power minus 1 by 4 isn't it since it's a division it will go into the denominator now let us simplify further so if you see it is y square into y to the power 1 by 4 why because a to the power minus n is equal to y to the power a sorry a to the power n right so hence or vice versa you can say a to the power n is equal to 1 upon a to the power minus n so i adopted this rule to get y to the power 1 minus 1 4 1 by 4 in the numerator okay now divide by what is left for x x to the power 1 by 3 into x to the power 1 by 2 now right so what is this now simple y is the common base so hence it will be 2 plus 1 by 4 divided by x to the power 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2 which rule did i use again a to the power m into a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n isn't it so hence final answer y to the power take lcm so it is 8 plus 1 by 4 and here take lcm it is 2 plus 3 by 2 so hence finally you will get y to the power 9 upon 4 and uh, 9, 9 upon 4 divided by x to the power 5 by 5 by sorry this will not be 2 this will be 6 here so 5 upon 6 right so y to the power 9 by 4 divided by x to the power 5 by 6 so this is the final answer so again please remember how to utilize the laws of exponents to solve such problems